from Vegas Pro to DaVinci Resolve from the SW271C to the PD3205U. I'm always looking forward to simplifying my workflow for more efficiency. when I was doing all my retouching, video editing on a thick Dell Precision workstation. When our crazy RV adventures stopped, I decided pretty quickly to invest into a decent monitor. I was tired of working on a small 15-inch laptop screen. So that's why at the time, I invested in the BenQ PD3200U. I learned the hard way and I was shocked to see how much some of my images were off, how much it was much more comfortable to work on a bigger screen, which sounds obvious, but for years I thought that this wouldn't harm my work. And then you know the story. I upgraded to the SW321C and SW271C and now I feel much better as I can deliver my work with much more confidence. And the software I used to edit my videos with also changed. I started with Vegas Pro, a software I loved for years for its ease of use. I use Adobe software for photography, so the obvious switch would have been Premiere. But a few years ago, I discovered DaVinci Resolve, which became my go-to color grading software. I held back for years because I didn't want to add that extra step of doing my editing in Vegas Pro and then my colors in DaVinci Resolve. And then in late 2020, I made the full switch and decided to cut color grade and do light VFX all in DaVinci Resolve. And you know what? I do not regret switching. Everything is done within one software and this software is getting more and more powerful after each update. All my work, my film work, YouTube videos are now 100% made inside DaVinci Resolve. My only regret is the fact that it doesn't accept ProRes RAW file. If you are a regular, if you know this channel, you probably have seen in past videos my main two monitors, the SW271C and SW321C. Now please welcome the BenQ PD3205U. I was really curious, what can a monitor like that offer at this price at 799 euros? To put things into perspective, the SW271C costs these days 1499 euros and the SW321C 1799. Now I know it's not the same line and it does not have all the options, the accuracy, all the bells and whistles of the SW line. It is not directly aimed at photographers, but they claim it is suited for video work and perfect for graphic designers. So would I still use it, edit and color grade my work with it? I'm not a graphic designer, so I won't go there. And the only way to find out is to actually use it on a couple of projects. And that's exactly what I did. And here at a glance, the key features of the BenQ PD3205U. Like other BenQ monitors, the design is simple and straightforward. Since I'm familiar with the line and have already two other BenQ monitors, I felt right away at home. The colors are accurate and I was comfortable working several hours on it.
You have a quick access to the menus and functionalities thanks to the hotkey Pub G2. One feature I love is the desktop partition. You can split your screen into multiple partitions by using their templates or by customizing your own layouts. In the application mode, are you browsing the internet? The low blue light mode will switch on automatically or maybe DaVinci Resolve. Boom, you are now in sRGB mode or in Rec. 709. Of course, the Display Pilot software will warn you every time it switches. I use the PD3205U vertically in portrait mode for everything except video. And when I am working on a video, I switch to the horizontal mode or landscape mode. One other feature I love is when you plug your laptop in it. For instance, for me, it's the 13-inch MacBook Pro M1. It connects automatically and the color of the monitor syncs automatically too to match the ones on your computer. So what's interesting here is, of course, the price and what this monitor has to offer at that price. I was pleasantly surprised. I really loved, enjoyed working with that monitor, the way I was able to organize everything around me and still do precise color work. A few years ago, this monitor would have been exactly what I needed, what I was searching for. For you, it all comes down to the type of work that you do. If you are a content creator, if you do a little bit of photography, a little bit of videography, if most of your content ends up online, then yes, the BenQ PD3205U is more than enough for you and for your work. I mean, I really enjoyed working with it and I thought that after this review, I would put it aside. But guess what? I'm going to keep that three monitor set up. If you have any questions about my workflow, a specific topic you want me to develop, feel free to ask in the comment section below. And of course, if you have any questions about these monitors, you can ask too. And that is it for this one. This is my third video of the week. If you missed the others, you know what to do. Please go check them out. I guess that I will catch you in the next one. Take care. And until then, a please have a good one.